Hey, how's it going? Uh, a lot of stuff going on recently. Um, I uh, I surpassed my sobriety um, of six days I did last time, and uh, today is the, the eighth day sober for me. So I'm doing pretty good on that. And uh, the way I did it was by eating a lot of food. Um, that's usually how I do it. I, I just pig out on food. And, um, yeah, I've been sleeping pretty good. I feel pretty good. I feel healthier. I don't have acid uh, buildup in my digestive system. So that's a good thing. Uh, I have still gained weight and I'm heavier. So today I'm starting my keto diet. Uh, strict keto. I'm just going to go have a protein style burger and um, tomorrow um, I'm probably going to eat salmon. I'm going to get a big old chunk of uh, fresh uh, Atlantic salmon right now and uh, maybe some asparagus and I'm, I'm just going to eat meat and vegetables. Um, another thing I've been doing to uh, stay sober I started drinking kombucha. It's like this um, fermented uh, uh, drink made out of tea and and it's just fermented. And I never really tried that before, so that kind of I just always have to replace the beer with something. So I just drink kombucha every day for the the last eight days, and it's not really low carb, so I have to stop drinking that today, starting today. Yeah, a lot going on though, I tell you. I had a very serious um, safety recall repair for my van. And it had to do with the rear suspension and the axle. So I had to make an appointment for that and get that replaced. It was pretty heavy work, but it was free. So that's good. I got the repair done. And my van's in tip-top shape. And um, I have to go to the dentist on Wednesday. I found a very affordable uh, dentist. I've been holding off my uh, my uh, dental work for like about a year. So I'm going to go on Wednesday and get some dental, my x-rays and see what kind of dental work I need. It'll make me feel better taking care of my teeth. They're in okay condition, but I, I definitely feel that I have some cavities. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Also, I kind of wanted to show you um, my chili pepper plants. I wanted to show you uh, how big they got. Um, I had like four, four plants, four or five plants planted, I believe, on one of the videos I made of my garden. And uh, they were doing well when, when I started them, but then they, they kind of like, um, their growth was stunted. And I think it was due to me not watering them regularly. So um, I pretty much gave up at that moment. And then... Um, I said, oh, maybe I'll try to bring them back to life. So I, I gave them a lot of TLC. And they're in, they're in planters, if you saw on, uh, on one of the gardening videos I did. They're in planter little planter boxes I made. And I didn't give up. I, I said I'll give them TLC. And I, I gave them a, a really good fertilizers. And I watered them regu regularly and kept the soil really nice and moist. But not too moist. And I, what I did was I picked the flowers off. Whenever flowers came in the pepper plants, I picked every single flower off because I wanted the growth to, to become big because they were stunted, they were small. So I kept picking the flowers every week, every two weeks. And um, the growth is amazing now. And I finally got them to really, one of them, is a tree. It grew into like a, a pepper plant tree. And I'll show you a video. 
and one of them grew into a bush, a very wide bush. And these are really hot peppers, uh, some of the hottest in the world. And I want to show you what the technique I do of picking the flowers, how big you could get pepper plants from um, store-bought transplants. And the other two plants I, I bought, they didn't do too well because I planted um, very large sunflower plants in the same pot. So they're still stunted. But the two plants that I got that are good, that I gave a lot of TLC, I'll show you how big they are. And I'm finally going to let them flower and fruit. So I, th I don't think it's too late for them to uh, give peppers, but I just want to show you the size of these pepper plants. And I'll show you uh, quickly the salmon, the salmon I get. It's really well-priced salmon. I got a big chunk of it and I, I usually cut it myself. So, um, and maybe the asparagus. If I find the special asparagus, I'll show you. Anyways, thank you so much and check it out. I kind of just wanted to show you this um, great food I got. Uh, this is about over a two pound slab of fresh Atlantic um, salmon. And it is farm raised. Uh, I actually prefer farm raised salmon to uh, fresh salmon. And um, I like the taste of farm raised salmon. And it's really fresh. It's a very big chunk fillet of salmon. Look at how thick that is. Uh, it's delicious, and I got a lemon to cook with it. I just put some butter or olive oil and Italian seasoning and lemon. Um, so that's my salmon, over two pounds. I also got a very hard to find can of uh, Australian corned beef mutton, or not, not mutton, but corned beef. Um, and this is the real deal from Australia. Uh, this costs $10. And you make curry out of this. This is very special. And this is um, the thick variety of asparagus that I'm going to uh, eat with the salmon. And there's two varieties. There's thin and there's a thick. And the thick uh, has a little less flavor, but I prefer it over the thin. So there's my food.